Hey everyone, this is Lindy from Love Create Celebrate and I'm super excited today because I'm doing a Women with Power Tools challenge. This challenge is hosted by Natalie from Design to Nines and co-hosted by Lisa Burningham. Today I made this awesome wooden rack. It's super easy to make. The whole project was sponsored by Craig Tools and Build Something and I'm really excited to show you how to make your own. I used a 2x4 piece of pine to make my coat rack. I started by measuring 2 feet and using my speed square to mark out the 2 feet on my piece of lumber. And then I cut my lumber using my miter saw. So this is the Craig shelf pin jig. Um, I'm going to use this to make my hanger. What it does is it puts the holes really evenly. Um, typically you use it for the pegs that you use to hang shelves so that you can have even spaces for them. But I'm going to use them on my piece of wood to put my hangers in. The shelf pin jig comes with a drill bit that fits perfectly into the jig. So what I did to start was line up my jig with the edge of my pine board and drilled the first hole. Then I stuck the pin into that first hole to hold the jig in place and make sure that the spacing would be correct as I drilled through all of the other holes. When I was done all six holes, I simply moved the jig over, put the pin in the last hole I had done and continued to go through the jig again. I did this across the entire piece of pine so that I had holes all the way across the board. I needed these holes to be at the bottom of my coat rack, so I just measured about a half an inch away from the edge of the holes. I took that measurement all the way across the board and drew a line down the entire board. And this was going to be the distance I wanted to cut the board off on the table saw. The next step is to set your table saw to that distance and cut right across your pine board. So the last time I used the pin jig, I used the longer side and this time I want to go from the short side. So I'm just going to pull this piece out, that's all, stick it in this side and now it's ready to go with the short side. So now going from the other side of the board I just cut, I'm going to drill holes that align with the holes on the front. Uh, I just checked after I took this one, first one off to make sure that it was aligned perfectly before I went ahead and did all of the holes. So once all of my holes were drilled, I tried putting my hook through and actually it didn't go through the way I was hoping it would but I knew that the holes were connected. So all I had to do was take my drill, it put them in the holes and just widen the holes a little bit. All I did to widen them was put my drill in and angle it a little bit. And as you can see, once you widen the hole, the hook goes in perfectly. So I just removed the hook and continued this with all of the holes across the board. When the holes were all done, I took my orbital sander and sanded the piece down on all sides. Finally, I used a black stain, which I will link to in the description below, to stain all the sides of my coat rack. I found that it was a little bit difficult to actually get stain into the holes of the coat rack so what I ended up doing was using a fairly long screw, dipping it in the stain and then dipping that in the holes and that managed to get stain through the hole completely.
I love how this project turned out. I'm so happy with it. If you like the project, please give it a thumbs up and let us know in the comments below. And don't forget to hit that bell to be notified of more great DIY and renovation videos. Thanks for watching.